You know, I used to think that too before I became high on life. So today everyone, I guess we're making a video on a 50 year old woman with dementia. Great. Now let's get high on life. All right, how's it going? And welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. In today's video, we will be talking about another middle-aged bully. An influencer who stalks other YouTubers. That's old enough to be my great grandmother. And that woman is known as That Vegan Teacher. A 56-year-old woman is on famous birthdays before me. <sighs> Well, for starters, let me show you exactly why I decided to make a video on her today. You are pretty on the outside and literally on the inside of you are the dead bodies of animals. It was just a dream. <laughs> I really thought for a second that, that she was gonna explore my insights. Unlucky for me, because... Yes, that did happen, and was totally not fictional or scripted. But that vegan teacher, as you can see, is a very dedicated woman to being vegan. So much that she loves to attack anyone who isn't. Your friend died trying to be vegan? Oh, I feel terrible. Oh my god, what did he eat? What did he eat that killed him? Was it a banana? A carrot? And according to her, slavery is the same as eating meat. <laughs> For fun, I went to your profile and noticed that you have dark skin. Maybe you call yourself black. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Do you know what I did when George Floyd died? I bawled my eyes out. I cried like crazy. Do you know how many Black Lives Matter protests I've been to? Do you know how your ancestors were treated? Enslaved? and murdered? Do you not know what they do to the animals right now in the industry? Comparing the years and years of suffering for black people to animals. Oink oink motherfucker. They're animals, Karen. Animals don't have feelings. <laughs> That's obviously a joke, ladies and gentlemen, because animals do have feelings, or else why would lovely peaches be roaming the earth right now? <laughs> now, who is that vegan teacher? Well, uh, she's actually a teacher to begin with. Uh, Miss KD is a TikToker with 1.2 million followers and an animal rights activist and a very strict vegan. She compares animal lives to humans and invalidates people's trauma by comparing it to the killing of animals. Now, I didn't write that. That's literally the first thing that comes up on Google when you search her name. It's good to know what the World Wide Web thinks of her. So what comes up when you search Curtis Price? Um, a big willy, because, ugh, come on. No, seriously, um, so, uh, my mugshot comes up from when I was in prison. That's not true either. Listen, Curtis Price age, I'm 20 years old. What's my national nationality? I'm British, I'm Welsh. I am a Welsh man. Correct. I know you're thinking, we didn't do anything to sheep. Now, I have nothing against vegans. I want everyone to know that right now before we get into the video. I love vegans. In fact, I love everyone. Um, but there are some people, like the vegan teacher, who tries to force people to be vegan. And she claims she doesn't force people. But uh, if you eat animals, you're technically the worst person alive, according to her. You're a murderer in some sense. You are a killer. And uh, do I honestly look like a killer to you? But she has indeed been stalking a YouTuber known as Tommy in it, which we will get into in a bit. What has she done recently? Well, she's been attacking gay people. That is what she has been doing recently. LGBTQ, we support you, but if you don't like oppression, why the fuck are you vegan yet? Right, okay. Well, that was interesting. So she's basically comparing the oppression that the LGBTQ community receives to the oppression that vegans receive. So if you wonderful people don't like cruel treatment towards you, then I suggest you turn vegan. Otherwise, you are a cruel person as well. I mean, I ate a steak once and I loved it. Does, does that make me a bad guy? It's just hilarious the way she just throws shade over, like, everyone. Like, you can be transgender, you can be bisexual, anything. She'll just throw shade over you because you're not vegan. She, she hates, hates everybody, everybody who eats animals, animals, no matter what you are. are. It'd be a fucking head job for all I care. But the thing is, you ladies and gentlemen, before we do get into talking about the stalking, I can see why this might anger a lot of vegans in the community. First of all, let's look at the loudest vegan activist right now. Don't like oppression. Why the fuck are you vegan yet? Oh my 
my god, it's him. Oh my god, it's him. It's this 50 year old woman. As a person who is not vegan and would look at a vegan for the first time, this creates a picture of what vegans are like. And you know what? Vegans aren't like this. Couldn't be further from the truth. Being vegan is a personal choice. And those people who are vegan don't really try and turn other people vegan. Uh, with all like drama and harassing on the internet, if that's what you want to call it. My uncle doesn't eat animals, but he eats people instead. Does that make him a bad guy? Now, I do understand she's trying to encourage more people to be vegan. But honestly, uh, watching these videos makes me not want to be that way. You know what? There's only one way to settle this dilemma. That vegan teacher and Amblin Reed cage match. But as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, she has been stalking a YouTuber known as Tommy in it. And I say the word stalking with not too much weight behind it, but Tommy in it is a YouTuber who caters to younger children slash teenagers, who plays games such as Minecraft. Well, that's, that's about it, really. Yeah. But people find him entertaining, and he bangs over 5 million views a video. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm jealous. Oh, and, uh, he's 16 also. Fuck me. <laughs> no, that's... That's... I didn't... I, but hey, listen, that's enough of that. That vegan teacher has made quite a handful of duets with Tommy in it. At Tommy. Uh, no literal duets, like a one-way conversation kind of thing. Hold up, everyone. Pee break. I'm back! Jizz hands. Jazz hands, yeah. Whatever. I'm at college and surrounded by women. Don't be scared, Tommy. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. But that is extremely, extremely scary. Saying that, that to a 16 year old child. 56 year old woman trying to set up a 16 year old child with a vegan girl. That sounds so good in the newspapers, doesn't it? Now, I actually drew a diagram uh, of what's going to happen if she continues to try and communicate with a 16-year-old boy over TikTok. Interested? Call me Picasso, but, uh, so this, uh, is that vegan teacher. Uh, she's getting banned here from TikTok because she's been communicating with underage people on there and harassing them and stalking them and talking about their schools and stuff. Yeah, so that's her. She, you can see she's sad. Uh, and then this, this is, uh, me escorting her to McDonald's for a personal conversation. Uh, that is to scale, by the way. But lots of Tommy's fans actually responded to this TikTok, and they were duetting her TikTok. And apparently she was trying to encourage him to become vegan. All I could think about was boobs when I was 16. I really don't think becoming vegan is on his mind right now. In it, fans. What the f*** is the matter with you guys? You're losing your minds. I saw some of the duets that you guys did. To that little 15 second video I did for him? You know the one where I was just trying to encourage him to become vegan? What the f are you guys doing? Some of you are crying. Some of you are punching the camera. What the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, come on, man. These people are kids, ma'am. They haven't finished puberty yet. I definitely don't think it was a good idea to go after uh, Tommy and its fans because they're just children, like I just said. They are young people. She actually uploaded a video to her channel as well, and she titled it Tommy in it and his insane fans. So now she is calling 12 to 16 year old kids insane. And to be honest, the like and dislike couldn't have said it better. 1.3k likes to 38,000 dislikes. So that's a 3.3% positive rate on the video, if I'm correct. That's the same percentage of chance of me turning vegan this year. Probably less. But, uh, you know, let's just see what this video is about. Well, hi, everybody. It is the last day of 2020. It will be midnight in about four hours. I'll probably be fast asleep at that time because the new year means nothing to me. Just like every major holiday or birthday. They're just things that we invent that we should be excited about, but really, who cares? It's just a number. So that's the first bit of the video that I've seen. And honestly, what a depressing, depressing state to live in. <laughs> like, imagine having nothing to look forward to all year. She's like that really, really, really annoying boss that just has no positivity whatsoever. Taking off the lettuce and stuff, though. Don't want that on my food. Okay, that's great. Thanks for telling me. 
this is how you this is how you spend your time like you don't have anything better to do than type that in my comment section like how guilty are you feeling about eating these animals you have to tell me about it and people are just incredible how they imitate each other it's fascinating anybody who wants to get their phd in psychology contact me because if you just look at the duets from my videos you will see complete insanity everybody just imitates each other nobody has any critical thinking skills or ability to think for themselves you guys seem to think that the word forcing is talking hey i don't think you have any clue about life now the best thing about this whole video is when she rambles on and says things like this you have no clue about life these people are insane you are talking to his audience who still aren't adults yet talking down to children <laughs> hell yeah that is awesome high five but seriously i don't think she understands the internet more than my own grandmother like my nan doesn't even have wi-fi <laughs> there's also some talk about um some people saying that she's uh forcing people to become vegans and her response to everyone was by calling us psychopaths um, am I intimidating? I mean, come on. Yeah, but you're forcing us to be vegan. No, I'm not. I'm just telling you that ethically, it's the right thing to do. That veganism is a moral baseline for any kind-hearted person on this planet. And anyone who thinks that that's not true has no clue about what's going on. Or they are simply one of the tiny minority of people who are psychopaths in this world. So she's saying if I don't become vegan, I'm not a kind-hearted person and it's not morally right to eat meat. Listen, I understand about the whole morally right thing because animals are being hurt, but does not make me a, you know, a not kind-hearted person. It is my choice to eat meat because I enjoy it. What's so f***ing hard to understand about that? That doesn't make me psychopath or a bad person. Trying to control what others do is psychopath. So, thanks for nothing, Karen. You're a teacher, and I haven't learned anything today other than the fact that I'm a really insane, horrible person that has no morals. <laughs> but if you want to see what else happens, then don't worry. I've got more content for you. But for this part, we're going to take a trip somewhere, somewhere, somewhere very amazing. I haven't decided yet, but I will in a second. And it's going to be a character. <laughs> but listen up, everyone. Before we continue, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already for more content like this. Uh, I really want to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of February. Uh, it's, I've been on YouTube for ages, and I would love to achieve my goal and feel great. <laughs> you know, I want that, uh, that, that, that serotonin rush. But please hit the like and comment for the algorithm. I love McDonald's. That's the best shade I could throw. And also, if you are interested, uh, the memberships are now available. So if you want to sign up to that, then uh, you can pay a certain amount a month and you get my videos one day early before everybody else on the platform. And you have no idea how much that helps me upgrade my equipment. So thank you so much. I love you. If you do it, hell yeah. Let's get into the video. Okay. Good evening. My name is Mr. Exposed and this is where I expose these hoes. <laughs> But straight to the point, that vegan teacher jumping on the offensive, I see. But what might this be? What we are looking at right now, ladies and gentlemen, is a picture of Jesus Christ in the Last Supper. Now, what is the context behind this? Well, you see, ladies and gentlemen, that vegan teacher believes that God would want us to be vegan simply because, well, God is vegan. You shouldn't eat animals because Jesus and God wouldn't want that. <laughs> you know, right? Um... I'm actually a really cool guy, and um, apparently Jesus was vegan. How would she know that exactly? That is a question we are all asking. Now, I am a Christian myself. I believe in God and Jesus, and I believe that they look after us. They keep us safe, and they keep us healthy, wealthy, and happy. But what I don't appreciate as a Christian is that that vegan teacher uses Jesus Christ as a way to make people feel guilty for eating animals. You are Disgusting. How does she know Jesus was vegan? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a question we've all been asking. So let's find out. Jesus said, forgive them, for they know not what they do. This turkey had a mother and father. Humans took her father and placed him down. How would you know you weren't around back then? Well, actually, 
She looks old enough to have been there, so. Was that mean? You think that was mean? Well, spank me, miss. I've been a naughty boy this summer. I'm kidding, do not touch me or I will break you. Emotionally, not uh, physically, I am not an abusive person. Now, don't burn me for this, but I saw this bit of the video in someone else's video and uh, how they used the picture of Jesus Christ the Last Supper. I found it very, very exciting. And I might leave a link down in the description if I can find the same video. In the image, you can clearly see Jesus Christ is present at the Last Supper. We all knew this. But you can see right, right there, there is a goat head on the table of the Last Supper. And that's Jesus Christ. So I don't think Jesus Christ really cared if anyone ate meat at all. You have no proof that he was vegan whatsoever. Are you on crack? Have you been literally imagining this in your sleep? Jesus Christ loves everyone, Miss Katie. And I hope you're teaching that to all the kids in your school. And God help me if you were my dietitian. I've never really liked the sound of being on the same diet as my guinea pig, to be honest. But that's just me. But now for the next part of this video, uh, Gordon Ramsay. Uh, you might be asking, uh, Gordon Ramsay, he's a chef. Well, that's right, he is. What does me and Gordon Ramsay have in common? Well, two things. We both eat meat. And we're both handsome as fuck. Now that vegan teacher made a TikTok calling out Gordon Ramsay, saying that he should eat veganism food. That's not quite right. I meant he shouldn't eat meat, is what I meant to say. Now, um, what did Gordon Ramsay do? Did he ignore her? Mm, did he yell? He responded with a TikTok himself and is, quite honestly, pure, pure comedy. To be honest, I've never seen anything quite like it. Vegan donut. That is the best thing I have ever seen in my life. Eating a cheeseburger right in front of that vegan teacher's face. You showed him, Gordon Ramsay. Showed her. It is a female, not a male. Um, I mix up words sometimes. I am Welsh and the Welsh are stupid. But you see, ladies and gentlemen, that vegan teacher is trying to cause a lot of controversy with a lot of celebrities around the world. YouTubers, actors, chefs, whatever you want to call it. And all she keeps doing is throwing shade at them. But I fully respect vegans. I want people to know this. I fully respect vegans. I believe that it's their choice and they're probably healthier than me. They probably wake up earlier than me. They probably are happier than me. Everything. And I respect vegans. What I don't respect is that vegan teacher. That is what I don't respect about vegans. It's just her. The rest of you are fine. I love you guys. Welcome to my channel. You are respected here and you're great. I love you. Go on a date with me. I'm kidding. I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> so why is that vegan teacher trying to control what I do? Not me personally. I could only dream for that controversy. <laughs> why is she trying to control a bunch of other people's actions? I physically don't see the point. I think she needs to grow a pair. She's a female after all. She can't grow balls, but Let's continue. I just think she needs to calm down and just stop taking the piss of people. And that's literally my response. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the membership today. And uh, I'll see you all next time, motherfuckers. <gasps> you mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.